welcome to Corny Creek Farms. <laughs> That's the sound of the wind. Boy, is it cold here on Corny Creek Farms. That's why I'm wearing my warm hat. <laughs> Don't you like it? <laughs> it keeps me warm here on Corny Creek Farms. Hey, welcome. Mr. Dave McDonald here, ready to draw something fun with you, inspired by some cold weather. Yes, up north in the U.S. they had some of my biggest fans are socked in with snow. Yeah, up to almost four feet of snow. You can't go anywhere when you got four feet of snow around you. They're safe and warm, but I just thought I would be uh, drawing something today that had to do with perhaps snow removal equipment because that was a problem. <laughs> they didn't get snow removal equipment and the roads were all socked in with snow, piled up high and they couldn't go anywhere. So I thought I'd create and we would draw some kind of a robotic contraption to get rid of all this snow. Some kind of a snow monster. The Snow Monster 4000. How does that sound? <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. Hey, let's get to the drawing table here. Get your pencil out, get your paper, and let's get drawing. Bundle up, my friends, bundle up. Okay, so this little contraption is kind of like based on a military tank because they have those big treads around that can, uh, they can go anywhere with those big treads. I mean, they're not gonna get stuck anywhere. So with your pencil, we're gonna make kind of a trapezoid shape. And that's easy to do. That's just like this, and this, and this, and this. So, there we go, a little trapezoid. This is the base, this would be uh, the belt. And so the belt would have, um, these, I would guess, pulleys is what you might want to call them. I'm sure I'll hear from my fan club. They seem to know a lot about contraptions like this. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's decorate it. Let's give it a, a sign on the side. Snow monster. Four thousand. All right, so this is going to be the, the tread. So the tread has these grooves in it, these spiky little, probably metal plates in the belt that are able to grab into the deep snow for traction. So we'll just draw that here. And at the bottom, Maybe what we'll do, instead of having the bottom of that show, we'll just make clumps of snow that it's getting through, right? So just use your curved lines to show piles of snow. There we go. So there's the base of our little machine. Put little circles in here. And again, these will drive the belt so that it can move forward. Up on top, we're gonna to make kind of like a, a turret where the driver would be. So let's do a rectangle here. And let's make a window with another rectangle, but round off, round it off so it's like a windshield. Right, there we go. And we can put the silhouette of a person inside there. So go on the inside, make, maybe make a dark oval and a silhouette is somebody that you can't see the features because they're, it's darkened, they're inside of a machine. So we're not really going to see. And maybe they have a hat on, so we'll make the silhouette of a hat on the head, nose, and then just the shoulders and he's operating that maybe some reflections because it is a windshield straight lines there we go 
and right at the corners I think I don't want to do these hard corners I like to round them off and maybe not so straight across how about some wacky angles go up higher like this and let's bring that windshield out that just makes it look more fun more cartoony as we say right <laughs> All right, so there it is. Uh, maybe, let's see, do this. It's put together with uh, metal, and it's probably riveted together with these little metal rivets. So we can put several of those along the side. And then and maybe in the front, or up on top of this, let's make like a little periscope. Up periscope! So use your simple shapes there. We're going to come up and make like a, a bent piece of tubing. All right, so do this. Almost like an elbow macaroni, right? Elbow macaroni. A rectangle. And then a, a lens with a curved line. Maybe with a... Maybe you can even see the eye. <laughs> Maybe he's looking at it. Maybe we see the, the silhouette of his view of, of what he's looking into. There we go. And maybe again, some, if it's made out of metal, we might see these rivets every so often. There we go. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Some cross hatching there, some shading with some lines. Now, the fun part. Coming out of the front here, let's make a shovel. So, two straight lines. So we're going to make an arm that goes up. And then the arm comes down like this a little ways. So two straight lines there. Maybe there's this kind of a hinge point there. So he's operating it like a steam shovel kind of. Okay, so it looks like a monster head. So what we're going to do is make, I'm just gonna lightly rough out kind of a rectangle or square shape and use that to create this monstrous mouth that is gobbling up the snow. One. <laughs> and let's go up here and two. Look at that. Let's give it a big eye. Shall we? The snow monster. Make a circle. A nice big eyebrow. He's biting a stack of snow. So we can put like a big pile of snow in front of the snow monster 4000 that he's clearing away so people can get to the store for their groceries or wherever they have to go. There he is. Maybe even to help. He picks it up and moves it or maybe he eats it. That'd be fun if he actually ate it. Maybe he even has the ability to put some flames in here to help melt the snow. <laughs> That would be a nice addition, right? That's fun. So we've got, if we've got flames, we're gonna have puffs of smoke coming up. Way in the background, let's just draw the hillside. And it's snow covered. Or maybe we just put a couple snow-covered trees there. Just 
just like three triangles in a row, but they're, they're rounded off because they're covered with snow, All right? Make our little puffy cloud in the sky. Boy, that's looking kind of fun, isn't it? I'd like to drive that thing. Maybe it's got an exhaust pipe in the back, a big, huge pipe that comes out of the back. Two straight lines, oval, some shading on the bottom, and some exhaust coming out. Make our puffy lines exhaust. <laughs> How'd you like to drive that? I think it'd be fun. <laughs> the Snow Monster 4000. Oh my, 11 minutes. Let's see if I have time to ink this whole thing. I have to work pretty fast here. Okay. I'm going to do my trees. They're just kind of covered with snow, hanging off. All right, let's get to busy on our... You notice this contraption has a lot of simple shapes. It's made of mostly uh, rectangles and uh, trapezoids, curved lines. We've got our elbow macaronis in there, right? See, leave that little. He's going to have a reflection when I erase that. Puffs of smoke from the fire over here coming out of his fire breathing snow monster. How fun would this be to drive? Little shadow under there. These pieces of metal coming out from that joint right there. All right. Now to the main body, the turret. You watch. Someone's going to build this. I just know it. They're going to see this video and they're going to go, hey, we should make that. That would really work. <laughs> that would be fun to see, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll make a border around, almost like a submarine would have. All right, there we go. Now we got to get our silhouette. Again, we're just seeing the shadow of the figure inside. He's looking through the little periscope. Fill it in with black ink. He's probably holding some stick controls down below. Now we've got to do these little tread pieces that are jagged to grab our traction. Get good traction in the snow. It's just like a big belt that goes around and around so we can move through the snow. Hey, while I'm inking, <clears throat> you know what kind of a dog does magic tricks? What kind of a dog does magic tricks? Do you know? A labracadabrador. <laughs> a labracadabrador. Could even be a labracadabra doodle if you wanted a, a different mix, right? Different breed. All right, so we've got the treads on there. Labracadabra doodle. Mr. Dave, that's ridiculous. It's corny, and that's, that's what we're all about here, right? This is going to be a fun one to... Where's my... I'll have to find last week's and show you with the donuts that I colored. I think I colored that one. 
Okay, this is all dark on the inside here. Got to make sure you can see it. There we go. All right, let's get to get a little wider brush marker for the head of this character. Big teeth to grab onto that pile of snow, right? Is it snowing where you are? It's not snowing where I am, but it is snowing where some of my <clears throat> biggest fans live. <laughs> so I had to do a special, a special creation for them today. Okay, now we've got some flames. Just kind of use your curve lines. There's no real science to this, as you can see. Just some flames and then the puffs of smoke and then just make a big pile of snow here just using your curved lines. That's all it looks like when it's piled up like that. Well, if it's not snowing where you are, it can be fun to play in when you're young. It's a lot of fun to make snow forts and igloos and jump in the snow and ride a sled or a toboggan down a hill in the snow. But when you're trying to get somewhere in a car or your truck, it can be a problem. And if you have somewhere to go, it's not fun. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Snow monster. The Snow Monster 4000. Must be the latest model. I had the old 3000 model, but she... She burned up, so I had to buy the 4,000. <laughs> Just give it a little, it's like a control panel there. Maybe some rivets around the outside of that. All right, this is what my imagination came up with. Some wacky kind of snow removal equipment. <laughs> Especially when people are in need of one. And they didn't see one on their roads for a few days this would be a nice welcome sight even if the flames did kind of melt your driveway <laughs> or burn up your mailbox that's more likely to happen your mailbox gets covered with snow and you can't see it so here comes the snow monster 4000 and he accidentally blows it up <laughs> Whoops! Hope we have insurance on that. <laughs> a lot of erasing. I did a lot of penciling today. A lot of little tiny lines for details on the snow and the flames and the pieces of this robotic contraption. I have to turn it sideways here. Got pencil marks all over the page. And I see one spot where I forgot to ink. I'll go back in there and take care of that. Okay, get rid of all those. Okay, move it up there where you can see it. And there's the little hinge point here. And maybe on the bottom of these arms, it's a little heavier. 
just because of the shadowing. There, we'll do that. We could even, maybe there's a sound, maybe he's making a sound, grrr. And you could make those letters nice and bold and thick if you want. Go back in with your thick marker. Just to emphasize the how loud it is. Well, there it is. What do you think? <laughs> Ta-da! I love it. The Snow Monster 4000. Again, on sale now at your local hardware store. <laughs> you wish, right? <laughs> if you have a lot of snow outside, you wish. All right. Well, I hope you had fun drawing yours. And this is the this is the great thing about these character these uh, contraptions that we're making. You can make them up yourself. It doesn't. You know, there's no right or wrong. It's just how you envision it in your head. Just make it up, put the feet or the arms or the turret or however you want it to move or be driven with an engine or solar power, whatever you want. You can just use your imagination and come up with something useful like this, even if it is wacky. <laughs> Awesomeness. Well, I hope you had fun drawing the Snow Monster 4000 with me today. I did as well. Hey, until next time. Stay warm, woo, <laughs> and be safe, stay well, take care of one another, all right? Okay, my friends, till next time, keep drawing, all right?